Hey folks, stay tuned. I got a trick or a tip to share with you guys on how to keep the earth from swallowing up your gravel. It's really easy. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I want to share a tip with you guys, uh, something that I learned years ago when I was developing my homestead, especially the site for parking the RVs here. With the type of soil that we have in our area right here, it's a lot of clay, so after a period of time, your gravel does disappear down into the rock, uh, into the clay and you end up with just muddy, muddy holes. So I spent a lot of resources over the past uh, two years bringing in loads and loads of gravel. And to keep the gravel on top of the surface, I simply recycled, repurposed, or upcycled used carpeting. So when my wife and I get ready to swap out the carpeting in our home, because we're going to be, this carpeting is dated, it's old, it's probably, Oh, it's older than, well, longer than we've had the house. So it's probably 14, 15 year old carpeting and it's well used. So we're going to switch it out and put new carpeting in the house before we retire. But I'm not taking that carpeting to the landfill. That is a waste and I can use that right here on my homestead. As you can see here, I have carpeting laid down on the parking area for the car next to the RV. Some of the carpeting has been exposed, but look at all the gravel. It's still on top of the carpeting. So it still keeps the gravel surface on top and it saves me a lot of money in the long run on having to go buy more gravel to lay on top of what the earth has swallowed. One area problem area where I first use it was right here coming over the culvert where the creek crosses the driveway. Seasonally that creek will run but periodically that creek will flood over and wash the uh, driveway away. So I laid in carpeting on that area and I brought in gravel and laid it over the top of that. I've had no problem since. The driveway's integrity stays. So if it washes uh, some of the surface gravel off, I just bring in a, uh, a pickup load of gravel, which is 12 bucks for me to go down to the gravel yard with my one ton dually and my um, Harbor Freight load handler. Yeah, this thing is awesome. And just uh, repair a little bit for 12 bucks, not bad instead of great uh, bringing in huge dump truck loads of gravel. But our gravel life is done and I'm going to retain it, but I'm going to save the carpeting from my house and we're going to repurpose it and use it in problem areas that we still have and just lay gravel over the top of it. Now one of my friends who has horses has the same problem and she asked me what I thought would be a good solution because my coworkers understand that I do experiment with a lot of things and I have a lot of uh, well knowledge useful knowledge so she came to me and asked me what she should use as a barrier to keep her uh, like a de decomposed granite on top of her soil in her horse paddock and I suggested just go down and get some uh, used carpeting uh, they'll give it to you they will give it to you instead of hauling it to the landfill just take it home lay it out on your horse pa uh, paddock and lay the rock over or the uh, decomposed granite over the top of it 
and uh, it's not going to go away and your horses might like you for it because it gives them a better uh, place to be able to um, romp and frolic. Anyway, that's my tip. That's my homestead hip hint on uh, upcycling, repurposing, and saving money. And carpeting is free when you go to a carpet store and they change out carpeting. They have to take it to the landfill. And I hate to see all that useful stuff go to the landfill because it actually is a material which eventually will break down, decompose, but while you're using it, it'll save you loads of money in the long run. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, where a frugal homestead took high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos. As I do upload them, please give us a thumbs up, click that share button, sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps us. Please leave a comment, a hint, a tip, share. I'm sharing with you guys. Be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.